right, what's going on guys? Welcome to an unboxing video. So I've been waiting a while to do this, but I picked up some new stuff for the channel. Um, this is gonna add to some of the quality of the videos. I'm still gonna be using the Hero 3 that I'm recording on right now, that you guys always see me on, but as you know, that thing's had some abuse, which is what they're designed for, but it's fallen off the back of my car and been through you know, other scenarios. So now I feel like it's time to step up the game with uh, a little bit better video quality. So I wanted to do an unboxing video real quick of what I got. All right guys, so after a long time at Best Buy, uh, trying to figure out what camera I wanted to get, I got the EOS uh, 70D. Um, this is a Canon camera. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. So this will be my first time I've checked it out. I mean, besides in the store. All right. First thing you get is the normal instructions. Get the uh, CD, more instructions more instructions all right so i actually just bought the body only so you get the uh, camera strap charging um, then the battery charger um, also you get the additional battery all right here it is nice so like i said this is just the body only but this camera actually it has the screen that flips around, so that makes it really nice for the stuff I'm gonna be doing. The autofocus drive system is awesome on this. All right, guys, so up next, I got the Canon EF 17 to 40 millimeter F4 um, L lens. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. This is my first L lens that I've ever bought. So I have, I have like a 50 mil, um, the better one, like the $400 one. Um, that I've had for quite some time, but this will be the first red band lens. So you get your little, you get your little instructions, your little CD. I guess that's like a case or something. Yeah, that's a little bag to put it in. Can of bag, big old lens head on there. So that's pretty badass. I like that. Made in Japan. There it is. It's uh, 77 millimeters all the way around. So cool, that thing is pretty sweet. Let's put this little thing on here. Slide that on, that looks nice. Dang, that thing is freaking massive looking. So there's that. Bought uh, one additional battery so I can have more video time on here. Got the SanDisk memory card. It's got a, what is this, 64 gigabytes, um, 80 megabits a second. So that thing should pump out some good videos. So let's we'll go throw that in the camera. For the last item, got the Rode video mic. So this is the uh, non-amplified one. This is just the one that just runs off the camera. I didn't want to have to deal with like an extra battery or something like that. I mean, I know the, the one with the nine volt is a little bit better because um, you can amplify the sound, but I think this thing will do just fine. It's gonna be way better than the, uh, the onboard microphone as well. So that has a cool little carrying case thingy, or not a carrying case, but like a little suspension part to uh, make it not vibrate. Open that bad boy up. All right. So that comes with the microphone itself. Um, I guess you actually plug this part in, so that's kind of interesting. Um, have the little adapter here. Go ahead and put that on there. So put that on the one side. Comes with the instructions. Right on. So that thing looks pretty sweet there. Um, that thing is going to be a directional microphone, so it'll pick me up a little bit better when it's pointing at me. So, and also it has this nice, real nice little uh, piece of foam on there to reduce wind noise. So that should be pretty cool. All right guys, so there is the new camera rig. So like I said before, got that Rode mic, got the L-Series lens on there, um, got the 70D. Um, which is just really good. It is a crop sensor camera, so it's not a full frame camera, but this thing is gonna do really well with, um, with video. So as you guys know, that's mostly what I do. And for pictures, you're gonna have no issues at all. This thing's gonna take some badass pictures. Um, I had like a Canon Rebel XSI before, 
but that did not do video because that's a much older camera. However, um, you know, it's a good, it's a great little camera for, for getting into uh, photography or anything like that. So anyways, um, hope you guys liked the video. Uh, let me know if you want to know any more about this. Um, you guys will see it in the upcoming videos. Uh, please like or subscribe and we'll talk to you soon guys. Later, peace out. Let's try out these two corners right here. Not gonna go too crazy, but let's try it out a bit, see how it does. Yeah, it definitely rotates the rear a lot more.